If you are one of the people who starts marketing for holiday events in November, December, well, newsflash, you miss the boat because most people start planning their holiday party in the summer. Welcome to the Photo Booth Supply Co. YouTube page. My name is Catalina and I am the owner of Modern Photo Booth Company and I'm here to teach you all things photo booth business related. And today we are gonna talk about when to market for the various seasons in the photo booth world. There are actually many seasons to the photo booth world, and this is why it's so important that you have a niche when it comes to running your photo booth business. Just to give you a couple of examples of the types of events that we have, there's obviously weddings, corporate events, quinceañeras, bar and bat mitzvahs, and of course, holiday parties. There are actually a ton more events, but these are the ones that we're gonna focus on for this particular video. One of the biggest problems I see happening is that people market for events during the busy season. And the people who are throwing these events are too busy to pay attention to your marketing because they're already doing these events. You really want to start marketing for events months before they're actually supposed to happen. So if we take holiday parties, for example, people are actually planning those in July and August because at that point they've finalized their budget for the rest of the year and they want to make sure that they lock everything in before that December 31st date. Because they start planning so early and it's usually a social committee that is planning these holiday parties, they want to make sure that they secure their biggest items first. So like a venue, or they're gonna be looking for caterers. But if you start marketing and they start seeing your content, specifically when they're already planning their event, then they're more likely to actually book you in early on. This is also gonna help you with creating a schedule for what your season is gonna look like. Just because you're marketing during July and August and you're not seeing people come in right away, that's okay. Because again, the photo booth generally isn't one of the top things that gets booked, but at least you are marketing and then you're getting in front of their face so that when it actually does come time to book, they're going to come to you. Typically for us, our holiday parties generally tend to book us between September and October. And then of course, we always have those last minute people that come to us a week before their event, but we make it happen. I would also highly recommend that you reach out to your clients and offer them an early bird special. So this is something that you would send out to people who booked you the year before. It should have some sort of incentive in there so that they have to book it early. Now it could be an extra hour, maybe they get to pick from your premium backdrops, or maybe they get a free prop upgrade. Whatever it is, make that something that's enticing and then set your deadline for booking. And you'll notice that a lot of your clients from the year before will probably book with that early bird special. If you're brand new to the photo booth world and you don't have clients to reach out to from previous years, then that's okay. You're just gonna have to do a little bit more work this year. So I highly recommend that you print off a flyer and hand that out to your friends and family because they probably all work somewhere and they can drop that off in a lunchroom or hand it to their manager to help you promote your company. I would also recommend that you reach out to your local chamber of commerce or any type of networking group and offer them an event for free. Again, this is just so you can get exposure in front of people who are going to likely book holiday parties coming up. You're going to want to do this early again and make sure you bring your business cards. Another tip for when you're doing free events is to make sure that you can collect email addresses. So make sure you enable a disclaimer and check with your local laws on exactly how to do that. But you want to collect as many emails as possible so that you can reach out to them after. When it comes to actually marketing, you're going to want to make sure that you align not only the events that you're sponsoring, but your social media posts and your email blasts should all be done at the same time. So yes, July to November, we are going to see some content on our social feed about holiday parties, believe it or not, and our emails are going to correspond with that. So what if you don't have photos? Well, if you're lucky enough to be part of the Photo Booth Supply Co. family, you will get photos this summer for your holiday party campaigns going forward. But if you're not part of the family yet, that's okay. Just set up a Christmas or holiday inspired photo booth with a backdrop, take a couple pictures with your phone, and then you can use that to market. This method really does work for any type of event. Now, while holiday parties generally tend to happen between November and December, let's look at weddings who have a much longer season. They generally tend to happen, at least in the East Coast here, pretty much from like May until end of September, beginning of October. Now, if you're on the West Coast where you have nicer weather for longer periods of time, you might have a bigger season. But regardless, the highest point 
for engagement is actually December and January. So that's why you're gonna to wanna to start your marketing for weddings in end of December, January, February. That is the season where you really wanna go high with like getting people to book or start thinking about booking a photo booth for their wedding this summer. Now, wedding marketing is a little bit different because generally you're not gonna have a mailing list where you're gonna to wanna to remarket to your past wedding couples. That's not really gonna work well. So that's why we like to focus our efforts on social media. People generally tend to go there for inspiration for their wedding, whether it's Pinterest, Instagram, or even Facebook. Now, when we start marketing, we try to have a consistent message. And at first, it's just to get people in the mindset of thinking about booking their photo booth. You can also give them inspiration or what you think is gonna be coming up in the season. And you wanna make sure to create urgency because let's be honest, 2022 is gonna be crazy. I don't know about you guys, but most of our dates are already booked and I'm already trying to see how much equipment I need to buy. This is why having people book in advance is really important because if you sell out of dates, but you're still getting a ton of inquiries, it might be time for you to consider purchasing more equipment for your business so that you don't have to turn away that business. If you do happen to have a lot of planners on your email list, then I highly recommend that you touch base with them every three to six months. We like to send them updated pricing sheets that have a list of all of our photo booths and all of the packages that we offer and what the price is. And of course, we also send them proposals. So again, you can easily make these proposals within your Salsa app and then just have that link handy and send it to them every three to six months. If you keep them top of mind, they're going to remember this and they're actually going to send that out to all of their couples as soon as they inquire so that they can start thinking about a photo booth. If you're feeling a little bit overwhelmed with how much information I just threw at you and when you need to actually start planning for all these events, well, I made you a handy little calendar that you can download and it'll tell you when you should start marketing and when that season actually starts. I would love to hear whether or not you guys found this download to be useful. And if it helps you in any way, just please leave me a message in the comments because I love reading all of them. And don't forget to come back here next week where we will have a fresh new video for you.